welcome in everyone. Welcome back. Welcome period if it's your first time here. Happy Littlewood day two. I'm really excited to keep playing our little game today. This video or this stream today is also going to get edited and put onto the YouTube. I'm going to focus on Paper Mario VODs are going to be edited. So I'm going to do a Paper Mario series on YouTube, which will be fun. And then I'll do, I'll do stuff like speed builds and Animal Crossing. Some of our shiny hunts I will condense and put on there. Like basically, I want people who miss streams to be able to still enjoy the streams without the 45 minutes of random talking in the middle. Let's pop into the game though. I'm already seeing that this is a new character for us, but we'll recap. We'll go talk to some of the characters we know already. All right, Willow, let's see what you're up to today. It looks like a bunch of weeds have popped up all over Coleslaw. At least they sell for a lot of dewdrops at the marketplace. Oh yeah, it's weed day. I forgot about that. Let's get our auto run on. This is the little town that we started building last time. It's called Coleslaw, of course. It's weed day, which means that this gobby here is passed out. The passed out gobby has eaten too many weeds. Something that I'm sure a lot of you can relate to on April 20th, but <laughs> he's brought a lot of weed with him, so we'll have to clean that up afterwards. What's the difference between a weed and a flower? Are, are weeds just failed ugly flowers? Um, I like a weed? Okay, Lilith, again, it's too early in the day for like existential crisis mode. That's too nice, you're just the best, Elmo. We're just gonna give you a compliment and hang out with you and we're gonna, we're gonna wipe wipe this one off <laughs> like we're just gonna keep going i mean the fact that weed day is the first day we're playing today is crazy bobbies are so annoying loud filthy and ugh. i suppose they are pretty cute sometimes bubsy i'm your number one hater you don't get to talk trash about my gobbies i love my gobbies have you tried eating weeds yet dalton <laughs> i think they're actually pretty good maybe i'm part gobby Guys, guys, it's too early to be eating weed, please. <laughs> We're gonna get our gathering bonus. Once per day, you can get like a boost to one of your spill, one of your spills, one of your skills. So we're gonna take the gathering bonus and gather so much weed gamers. And then we're gonna sell it, of course. We will not be eating it, but we are gonna grab all of these because it's gonna give us so much experience and we're gonna sell it. 30, oh, this is so huge gamers. We're gonna be so rich. All right, we have a new character to meet though. This is Laura. What's Laura's voice gonna be like? I don't have a lot of voices. All of the voices low-key sound the same and I know that, but I'm, I'm doing my best out here. I really am. My notebook, I just had it in my bag. How could I have misplaced it? All of my precious records are in there. It's not here on the ground. Maybe I, I dropped it over there. Maybe I, oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I get lost in my thoughts sometimes. I'm Laura. I'm a researcher of everything in Solemn. As you probably overheard, I've misplaced my notebook. If you see one lying around, please let me know. I'll be back later. I'm going to take one more look in the forest. Okay, fetch quest, side quest. I have to find that cutie's notebook. To get everyone recapped, currently we're having a bit of a dilemma about who we're romancing. Cause like basically every character is romanceable. We have a thing for Willow a little bit. But then also like Lilith is like a destructive mage and she's kind of cutie. She has low self-esteem and we want to make her feel like worthy. She got kicked off of her mage team because she was too strong for them, but like couldn't really control her powers well. It was like a whole thing. But every character that we bring in is like new girlfriend material. So we have to pay attention to that. I don't actually know where Laura's notebook is. So I'm actually just like looking around right now. Anyone see anything that looks vaguely notebook like? <laughs> Maybe it's in the mines. I don't know, because she said that she was checking the forest, so maybe I shouldn't be checking the forest. Oh, there's a cutscene. A fishing lesson. Hey, duds. Good morning, Dalton. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, except, uh, I can't catch any fish. Hey, there's the notebook. <laughs> well, are you throwing out your line properly? Yeah, I'm doing it right on top of them. But the fish either swim away or float around like they fell asleep. Dalton, stop killing fish! Oh my gosh, my dude! Dalton, you must cast your line out next to the fish, not right on top of them. Then wait for the fish to come to you. Once your bobber goes under the water, you reel them in. Oh! <laughs> Dalton's killing fish confirmed. Thanks, Dalton. Your insights are so valuable to the stream. I'm so glad we had that conversation. 
Did you know that you can spark a romance with any of the townsfolk? You're the hero of Solemn, after all. Who wouldn't want to fluff your feathers? I'm surprisingly single. But I'm ready to mingle. Bubsy, never discuss fluffing my feathers again. We need to set some ground rules, Bubsy. No more asking me if I take baths. No more mentioning the fluffing of my feathers. <laughs> I am solidly not interested. Thank you very much. I'm good. <laughs> Always and forever, you will remain single. Let's get our, our dew drops from all the weed that we sold yesterday. Laura's notebook. Okay, let's return this to Laura. Is she here? Or do we have to go find her in the forest? Or maybe we just have to wait for her to come back. Oh, I don't know where she is. We're gonna have to open the build menu for a second and see if I can plant any slime apple trees or like the plumberry trees. Build mode, nature, each. <gasps> we can, yes. Okay, we're gonna put these trees over here. And then do I have any more plumberries? <gasps> We do, okay, perfect. So now we have like these trees that are gonna grow. Um, these ones are slime apples. These ones are like the plum berries. Then we've got the peach hots as well. I'm probably gonna have to cut out like that entire day from, from the VOD, but look, we were talking about nonsense, but I, I did things, I swear. I died to a monster and now we're here. <laughs> mad chickens, it's mad chicken day. This is gonna be the best day. Wait, why do they have dapper little hats? What's up with that? Don't, you can't just show me chickens with silly little hats and then go back like it's a regular Wednesday. What are you talking about? <laughs> I wanna see the chickens. What is mad chicken day? Hi, little fellas. The chicken travelers are looking for a new place to start their colony, not in my town. What? They can absolutely come to my town. Welcome to Chicken Madness. Catch as many chickens as you can and bring them back to Town Square before the timer runs out. <laughs> what does that even mean? Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm I'm catching chickens. <gasps> run, run, run. Oh my gosh, <laughs> why is this actually fun? <laughs> You're coming with me, boys. This is like that one Breath of the Wild part where you gotta get the chickens. Come on, come on, we got this. How far are the chickens spaced out? Oh, they're kind of far. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. What's my, I should have routed this. This is like the egg festival, but so much more stressful. Get the chickens in, get the chickens in. We got this. Go, 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 go. Optimal pathing. I'm a speed runner, I'm a speed runner. No, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> I don't think I can get another one. <laughs> 11 chickens, woo. <gasps> I got a chicken coop wallpaper from that. Wait, that's so cute. We have Laura here, so let's give her her notebook back. Ugh, I couldn't find it. I climbed onto trees, crawled through caves. I even fell into a... Is that my notebook? You found it. All of my notes and research fully recovered right here in... Oh, oh no, it's unreadable. All of the pages are soaking wet. It looks like I'm going to have to start all over. Wait, what if you helped me with my research? Yaha! -ha. <laughs> if we worked together, we could record our findings twice as fast. <laughs> it's settled. I'm moving into your town. <laughs> that yaha -ha -ha is making it into the YouTube video just so that everybody knows. <laughs> the timing for that is crazy because I leave in all of the dialogue for the VODs and stuff. So when like, the sparkle redeems go off or the Koroks go off in the middle of me like doing something I need in the video for like story progression. It just stays. Oh, it's, it's chicken madness day. It's, I've always wanted to chase chickens around and catch them. Oh, I bet I can capture one with a ring of fire spell. Lilith, you better not. Lilith out here making chicken nuggies today. <laughs> Come hang out with me. Anything to get my mind off of destroying things. Okay, okay, a little scary, a little weird. <laughs> what is Bubsy's opinion? Bubsy, you have bird brethren here today. Chickens are the inferior bird species, therefore I do not care about them. They're dirty, have bulging eyeballs, make annoying sounds, and I hate them. Bubsy, I think now is the time for you to do some self-reflection. 
Look in the mirror a little bit. Look at your own eyes. You too have bulging bird eyes. Don't give me that little like head shake, no. Why are you at me? You know I'm right. You know I'm right. Dudley is dancing on the haters right now. I love him. I had plenty of chickens on my old farm. You remember them? They used to chase you around. You once came to me crying because one pecked you. That sounds like me. That sounds true. True story. Can't confirm. That did happen. Okay, it might be time to do some serious build moding. I like how this pond over here looks, but it's not very practical for fishing. So maybe we do put Laura's house over here. Laura's house is so pretty. Look how cute this little house is. She'll be on the edge of the town. We can extend this path here a little bit. This will have to connect up this way. Do I have the blueprint for the museum yet? No, okay. Wow, it's really cozy in here. Thanks for letting me stay in Coleslaw. We're gonna learn so much together. Of course, queen. I'm so excited to restart my research in Coleslaw. I mean, we don't have to restart, restart. Like you could write down the research that you remember. You know, there's no way that you did all that research and you don't remember a single thing from it. <laughs> like, please girl. Apollo, that's a fantastic question. Why is everything on this channel named Coleslaw? I think it started, there's a game called Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life where it's like a farming game. It's a remake of an old Harvest Moon game. Um, and I had a child in that game. And I don't know why, but I thought it would be funny to like give my child a name that's like, it sounds normal, but it's like not. So I named my child Coleslaw and I was like, his name is Cole. It's short for coleslaw. And since then it's just been like a running joke on the channel that we name basically everything coleslaw. And now it's just kind of like grown on me. So like my bot's name is coleslaw bot. Like it was just a stupid joke I made at one point that I'm beating into the ground because it makes me laugh. We're gonna hit the mines. Um, the last time I came to the mines today, I immediately died to a monster. <laughs> So, note to self, do not walk into a monster. Grab the treasure, grab the resources. Do not touch scary red things. Scary red things bad. Look at this, Asher the Spectre. A traveler brings gifts. Okay, we're taking the lightning spell from a mysterious ghost we found in the mines. That seems legit. I think we should trust that. We're gonna grab, honestly, we probably need regular stone too <laughs> because we have not been grabbing it very frequently. So we'll grab some of this. We're gonna need a lot of resources and fast because characters kind of move in. Oh, ah, ah. Don't die to the monster, Elena. Don't die to the monster. Don't do it, don't do it. No, no, leave me alone, leave me alone. You'll die a violent death. And by that, I mean your rectangular character will rotate 90 degrees and you'll be sent out of the mine. <laughs> You know, the animations are a little limited, but it's got heart, so it's okay. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's go home. A lonely girl. Oh my gosh, it's me. Look, guys, it's me. <sighs> Every time I eat at the tavern, people avoid sitting next to me. Do people not like me? Is, is something wrong with me? Maybe people are afraid of me. Me when I talk about Ace Attorney for the sixth time in a stream. At least Elmo talks to me. Yeah, I really like Elmo. Girlfriend material. Look at our three girlfriends waiting to be chosen. They're like just standing here like, who's she gonna choose to hang out with today? There is no love for, we've literally separated the town boys and girls. We're not hanging out with any of these fellas. Hi Elmo, I was walking around town and tripped on this veggie. That's the end of that statement? Okay, <laughs> thanks for the potato, I guess, that you stepped on. <laughs> I appreciate it, I think. Mm, yes, slime apples are plump and juicy while peach hearts are tangy and tart. Oh, hey there, Elmo. I was just writing down some new research on the fruits of Solemn. She's smart. Okay, two of these cuties are smart. One of them is Lilith. <laughs> Who are we hanging out with today? Let's get up our friendship with Laura a little bit. Thanks, Elmo. I really needed a compliment today. You can come 
You can hang, oh no, we can't hang out with her. Just kidding. Okay, we'll hang out with Lilith because my first choice doesn't want to hang out with me, apparently. Taco Taco. <laughs> Two are cute and smart. One of them tripped on a vegetable, so. <laughs> Elmo, this morning I had an amazing idea. You see, I've been writing all my findings in my small notebook. It's just words, words are boring. If I want to share my research with people of Solemn, I need something eye-catching. Get your tools ready, Elmo. We're going to build the greatest museum in all of Solemn. That won't be hard, considering the Dark Wizard like destroyed all of Solemn, and there probably is no other museum. I love the build tool in this game. It's honestly my favorite part. The decorating and the characters, I think, are my favorite parts. We're gonna run into a problem with the concept of girls' side and boys' side because they're gonna wanna start being close to things. So I'm gonna have to probably separate where the houses are, which is a little unfortunate. But if we put, we can maybe fit the museum over here. I might have to move this over. Oh, we need one more wooden plank. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, this tree has gotta go, sorry. We're gonna build this for now. But I think I do want to move. I love how easy it is to just move things here. Maybe we should have the big blue things here together. There's something in the way. Okay, we'll just move it then. Just a tree stump, who cares? Maybe I put some fences between these. That could be kind of cute. But we have a couple of flowers we could probably plant as well. Maybe I put flowers on either side of the museum and we can move the museum over here. It's really important to me that the town looks cute too, but it's hard when you have limited stuff to work with, so please be patient with me. I'm gonna do my best. Elmo, I was talking to Willow this morning and she said you're the hero of Solom? Don't you think you should have told me something that important? Wow, this museum looks great, by the way. Okay then, hero, it's time for your next big quest, donating one of every item that exists in Solom to our museum. Together, we will build Solemn's greatest treasure trove of information. Why do I have to do that independently? Question, can't we as a team do that? What are we working with here? It shows you when you have something. We can give a potato. These ones have to wait until I get more of them because I'm gonna need to plant those ones to like make a reoccurring crop for them. We can give one of each of our little fruits there because we have regrowing trees. Oh, a new friendship. Hey there, Willow. Oh, hey, Laura. How are you liking it here in Kolsla? It's great. Elmo's been helping me so much with my research. We're going to make Kolsla be the center of knowledge for everything in Solom. Oh, that sounds exciting. So, do you two hang out often? Yeah, Elmo talks to me like every day. Oh, is something wrong? Huh? No, no, not at all. That's, that's really cool that you're both working on something cool together. You know, my museum could use a little help with decorations and some handiwork. The talk of the town is that you're the most handy person here. Really? Yeah, why don't you come over today and we can hang out? Also, maybe we could plot some pranks for that silly Dalton guy. Oh my goodness, now that sounds like a lot of fun. You won't even know what hit him. Hopefully a slime apple is what he deserves. Sorry, the word booty comes up way too often and there's a the the in here, so reading this was crazy. I used to think getting old was a pain in the the booty. <laughs> but that is the wrong way to look at it. Getting old happens to those who are most fortunate. So true, Dudley. You're so right about that. I don't ever want to adventure through swamplands again. You probably don't remember, but I got a bad case of the swamp pox. I got rashes on all my cheeks. All of my cheeks. Okay, Dalton, we set the boundary with Bubsy earlier to not talk about fluffing my feathers. My boundary with you is that what happens to your cheeks is your business, and I would like it to stay that way. This is why we romance the girls in this game. <laughs> the boys don't get it. <laughs> There's so many allusions to bumps. Look at my... We chose the pirate personality to be our defining feature. In this game, you get to choose a single personality trait. And now there is a statue in my town that says, here stands Elmo, our heroic pirate who sails the seas in search of great booty. This is how I am being remembered. <laughs> Laura keeps trying to study my magical abilities. She keeps lifting up my arms and checking under my feet. Okay, Laura, we really need to have a town meeting about boundaries and personal space. <laughs> oh, can we go to Port City Deluca now? 
I thought that we had maybe unlocked that. We have a new location to go to. What am I doing? Let's go on an adventure. My girlfriend is over there. I see her. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Hello there. It sure is beautiful here in Deluca. I hear there's an even more beautiful town called Kolsla. Huh? You're the cutie slot of Kolsla? That's so amazing! Mal, come home with me! Be my wife! Look how cute she is! Ah! Okay, Elena, we were just talking about boundaries. Mel is gonna set some boundaries with you. Play it cool, Elmo. Play it cool. Maybe I'll stop by Coleslaw sometime and say hi! Marry me! Oh my gosh, wait, we're meeting so many good characters right now. I am so excited about all of this. Hey. Hey, you. Do you have work? Not the imminent racism in Littlewood. I hear orcs eat bugs and have stinky breath. I also heard that orcs are big, fat dummies. This is what it's like to play as a girl in Valorant, by the way. <laughs> stop. I also heard that I said stop. <laughs> Beat him up, Xana. Get him. <laughs> He's a pig. <laughs> you deserved that, Hamilton. My face hurts. Good. I hope it continues to hurt. Oh! I got a litter box. Okay. Hi. Captain Georgie. Hey, hey, hey! It's nice to finally meet you, hero. Hmm. You want to use my fishing boat, don't ya? Well, too bad! <laughs> Alright, Georgie. Thanks. Whoa. Where do I even begin with a voice for this guy? Well, hello there! My name's Wadsworth. I'm the mayor of Port City, Luca. You must be Elmo, hero of Solemn. Hmm? How did I know that you're the hero? Good look at you. That heroic smile, those fierce eyes, that desire for booty, that confidence in your step. Ah, I'm just kidding. We met while you were on your quest to defeat the Dark Wizard. Cool. Cool. Might have added a line or two in there, but you know, you get the idea. What do we have left to do today? I kind of just want to like go to bed and see if Mel or Xana shows up tomorrow. I want to get them to move in so badly. I want a city build. I want... <gasps> She's on the board. She's on the board! Time moves too quickly. Don't have an ex existential crisis on us, Dudley. Aw, uh, Elmo really is doing a great job with coleslaw. Oh, I'm so glad that Elmo is building relationships with the other townsfolk. Life can be hard journey sometimes, and it always helps to have friends to talk to. Sure wish I still had my best friend to talk to. I must remind Elmo <laughs> to enjoy everything and never take anything for granted, even the small things, because those things might not be around forever. Uh, time moves too quickly. Maybe we need to hang out with Dudley a little bit. That was so sad! Where is Mel? Where is Xana? Where are my girlfriends? Show them to me. <gasps> Xana's here today, okay. Oh, hello. You look really familiar. Oh my gosh, you were there in the casino when... I probably shouldn't have hit him. It seems no matter where I go, I can't seem to fit in. Huh? You're the cutie of Coleslaw? Everybody's saying how great that place is. Well, maybe I'll come take a look sometime. My name's Xana, by the way. It, it was very nice to meet you. Georgie, can I go on your boat now? Alrighty, alrighty, let's talk business. So, you want to take my fishing boat out to catch all the rare fish and treasure for yourself. But before you do that, since you're the hero, you're gonna have to do a quest for me. It's a simple fetch quest for a few simple items. You've probably done a million of these before, right? Okay, here's my quest. I'm gonna need... <laughs> 10,000 wooden planks, 10,000 perfect bricks, and 100 golden acorns. No! Get to it! If you don't have these materials by tomorrow, you can never use my fishing boat. <sighs> okay, Georgie, you're kind of the worst. I forget what I made the voices, gamers. It was like five minutes ago. Howdy, I'm Hamilton. Say, weren't you here when that work lady punched me? I guess I didn't deserve it. 
You know who she is, where I could find her? I just I want to apologize for what I said, you know? Well, she's right outside, my guy. Have you, like, left this building, like, ever? Because she is not that difficult to find. Oh, Ash is here! Okay, Ash is maybe my favorite of the guys. He's friendship material. <sighs> I don't have any more voices. Oh my gosh. Did you lend me a hand? These wampers are trying to eat me. I dropped my whistle over there. Grab it and blow it. Oh, there. <laughs> okay. Don't touch the red thing. Here we go. Whew! That was a close one. Thanks a lot for helping me out there. My name's Ash. I'm a dust miner. Huh, Elmo? Isn't that the name of the hero of Solemn? Whoa, you're the hero? Right on! It's an honor to meet you, Elmo. I'll have to be more careful down here from now on. Can't keep counting on being saved by a hero. Say, I gotta repay you somehow for helping me out. You live in Coleslaw, right? Everyone's always talking about that place. I'll come visit sometime. I'll bring you a nice present. Thanks, Ash. I like Ash. She's cute. Xana's here. Wow, Coleslaw's amazing. I spent all morning walking around and looking at cool stuff here. And all the townsfolk that I've met were so nice to me. Hey, um, you wouldn't happen to have room for one more here, would you? I totally understand if you don't. This is all really last minute and... You think I'd fit in here? Really? Oh, thanks so much, Elmo. I'm, I've never been this excited before. We're gonna make Xana's house, yay! What are we doing? Tell me I have enough stuff. No, I need fancy brick. Do I have enough stuff to make fancy bricks? Um, unfortunately, we do not have space for her on this girl's side of town, but maybe we'll put her up here for now. We can move some of this stuff around. Okay, let's go into Xana's house. She's still on the girl's side, which is kind of nice. This house is so big. I've never slept in a house before, let alone had my own. So which corner should I put the dirt in? Maybe I could tear a hole in the ceiling to let some rain in for showers. Is that what you did with your house? Wait, we can hang out with her already? Dudley, I am so sorry. I'm literally leaving you in Xana's house. Look at her little blush portrait. She's so cute. I should be using my time to get materials and stuff, but I want to meet the characters. Hey, Elmo. I decided to stop by and check out Coleslaw. The stories are true. This really is a beautiful town. Oh, before I forget, Here's that present for you for saving me back in the caverns. Thank you for the gloves. I don't know what that does. Can I, can I check? 10% chance to not consume energy when harvesting fruit or crop. Oh, that's so cool. That Laura girl seems pretty smart. It's a shame her glasses aren't even designer brand. Bubsy? Count your days, my guy. Wait, Ash doesn't want to move in yet? Let me build you a house, my guy. You can be on the boys' side of town. Man. That sucks. I definitely saw something standing at the edge of the woods last night. It looked like a creepy ghost creature. It was probably Dalton. Don't worry, Willow. You're safe. I wouldn't stress about it too much. Georgie, can I please use your boat? Ah, you should have seen the look on your face. 10,000 wooden planks, 10,000 perfect bricks, 100 golden acorns. I wouldn't be so cruel. Look, you're free to use my boat as long as you're level 30 fishing. Can't let some rookie crash my boat or destroy this pier, you understand? Okay, Georgie, that was like a three-day process for you to tell me to get to that level. We could have sped that up a lot. I'm only halfway there, so we will not be fishing yet. What happens if I upgrade this place? Unlock the pet rescue. I want the pet rescue, so I guess we're upgrading this too. Weird little bird man appetite, that's for sure. Okay, but have you guys seen the bird people in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? That's the end of the sentence that I can say before I get some very judgmental comments and weird looks, but I'm just saying, have you guys seen Teba? <laughs> I can't, I can't bring myself to say it. No, nope. no, nope. I love them for no particular reason. They're just, they're good characters, you know? I didn't say that they're hot, but if you thought it, that's on you. Where is Mel? Oh, Ash is still here. Now do you want a house? There again, Elmo. No, ever since we met, I kind of wanted to get to know you more. I just I had to come back here and ask you something. Do you think I could stay and help you rebuild Coleslaw? 
My home near the dust caverns is rather dusty. And besides, I could help gathering building materials. We could also hang out more and I could take you on a date. Huh? I said we could hang out more and that coleslaw is great. Yeah, let's do it, Elmo. Ash, you flirt. <laughs> he needs fancy bricks. Okay, just kidding. We can't make you a house because you are expensive, apparently. Elmo, I have something important to tell you. I was missing the smell of my home, so I started putting old fruits and veggies in my house. But after a couple days, it all turned into mushy compost. I think I found a way to produce more grassy earth dirt and tilled soil. Aw, she's gonna help me compost. Bow. Hey, Elmo. So the weirdest thing happened today. I was selling decorations at my shop as usual, and... Well, one of my customers said that the cutie slot of coleslaw is also the hero of Solemn. I just had to say hello and thank you for everything you've done. Okay, we're gonna put more cabbages down. Beautiful. Do I have potatoes that I can plant? Oh, I can. Okay, we're gonna expand our farm a little bit. We could use this space behind the store. Maybe, like, maybe we don't have to have this all fenced in here. If I put that there, though, I won't be able to see when oh but we could elevate it and then we would be able to see it we might have to make several farming areas but that's okay i think for now this will be fine i think we should expand this we can make it bigger there's no need for it to be so small because we're gonna need to make it fairly big either way can i make it double wide oh you can cute okay maybe it would be more satisfying if this went straight up this way i think that looks better but then it keeps leaving like these weird spaces. But if we have enough wood, yeah, we could do like a little fence situation there maybe. I think this is looking cute. It's nice to kind of have things organized a little bit more as well. I might move these to be over here because we're gonna need more spaces for houses. So I think we might put like Ash's house here and then have these guys be up here. I think that this is looking pretty solid so far. I've got to head back home soon. I'm running my very own decoration shop, but things aren't going so smooth. Maybe we'll see each other again, Elmo. Er, howdy, Xana. Wait, what was his voice? Hello. So, uh, I'd love to experience more about your, uh, experiences as orc folk. What would you like to know? Hmm. How about your favorite food? Orcs don't really eat bugs, right? Oh, yes, we do. Bugs are a delicacy in orc culture. My favorite one to eat is shell beetle. Oh. But I wouldn't say bugs are my favorite food. My favorite food has been passed down to me for generations. It's the weeds and dirt soup. If you'd like, I can cook you a bowl. Weeds and dirt soup? Well, if you say it's good, I guess I should give it a try. I love this arc of Hamilton being discriminatory to open-minded. Littlewood is speaking facts right now. I love Hamilton is being open-minded. He's learning his lesson. This is probably going to be the last day that I play. We're literally already at the three hour mark. No. We're going to smelt some of these bad boys. I don't know how much Ash needs for his house, but I would really like to finish this off by making another house. I want us to have some progress made. Oh, that's the wrong menu. So progress is going to be delayed. And we need wooden planks too. Ash, what's this? You need bricks and wood to make a house. That's crazy. I'm not gonna put this one off to the side here because Ash is gonna wanna live close to something and it's not gonna be anywhere close to here. So we won't be able to fit it there anyways. Hey Elmo, I've been working on a new blueprint that you could help. Whoa, I, I can't read. Hi Elmo. I've been working on a new blueprint that could help you gain more building materials. We should talk first thing tomorrow. I can't wait to show you this. Let's get the blueprint and then see where that leaves us. Where are we, where are we left off, Ash? What's the blueprint? It's for an ugly thing, so I don't really like getting this blueprint. Oh wait, a ruined morning. Hey Dalton, what are you gonna do today? I'm feeling super energetic. Wanna run a few laps around Coleslaw with me? There's no way I can run today. I eat way too many slime apples this morning. Do you wanna eat some more with me? What a disgusting creature that Dalton is. Uh, hey, both of you, leave the town square at once. It is time for my morning bath. Huh? Bubsy is here too. Morning bath? In what water? 
Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay. Well... That's uncomfortable. With that TMI, with, with the knowledge that, that Bubsy is bathing in the public fountain, that's, that's gonna be all the little one I've got for you today. <laughs>